Hi. <laughs> Guys, you should definitely go follow my TikTok. I have some great content on there. Um, love it. I'm a TikToker now. E-boys, get the f out of the way because here I come. Hey guys, so on Twitter, I asked you guys what movie you want me to react to. And guess what I'm doing? Not any of those. <laughs> you know how it be. I don't ever listen to you guys. Even when I full on asked you guys for help, I ignored it. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be watching Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Warning, you're gonna get so much of a British accent that you did not ask for me and I can't even say if it is considered a British accent, but I'm gonna do it anyways. This movie is like a, a staple from my childhood. I'm still a child, by the way. I remember it clearly being on Nickelodeon and wondering if it was too inappropriate to be on Nickelodeon because it had thongs in the title and I was like wow Nickelodeon is going crazy they're going wild they're going bonkers up in this bitch this movie walked so the kissing booth could run that's it period Period. Today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. If you don't know what Function of Beauty is, Function of Beauty is customized shampoo and conditioner. A lot of you guys have been asking me about my hair care routine, what I use in my hair, what kind of shampoo and conditioner I use, what type of mousse or whatever do I use in my hair. And the truth is I really only wash and condition my hair. I don't do any extra products other than if I'm doing like a style, I'll use hairspray and like texturizing spray. But for the most part, hair care routine, I just wash and condition my hair. Over the past month, I've been using my Function of Beauty shampoo and I've actually really enjoyed it, as you can see, because they're almost gone. With Function of Beauty, you can choose out five different hair goals that you want to achieve. Put in what type of hair you have, whether it's thick, thin, curly, wavy, straight. And then you can also pick up the scent as well as the color, or you can get no scent and no color if you don't like that. I got Pina Colada and the pink one, because you know I be loving pink. Function of Beauty is also cruelty-free, vegan, sulfate-free, paraben-free, non-GMO. Almost on every single one of my videos, you guys have been asking me what I use in my hair and what type of hair products I use. And if you watch my videos for the past two months, all I've been using is Function of Beauty. One thing I have noticed is that my hair has been breaking less. I feel like um, after I bleached my hair, my hair would get really tangled and it would break and it would fall out a lot. And since then I've been kind of like rehabilitating it and kind of like getting it back to how it used to be, which is like untangled, straight, silky, smooth. If you guys want a hair care routine, all I do is I wash and condition my hair. I leave my conditioner in while I wash my body and then I rinse out my conditioner with cold water. Try it. I heard that if you rinse your hair with cold water, your hair will be shinier. I don't know if that's true, but I've been doing it for kind of a long time now. I kind of do it um, as much as I can throughout the week. Does it make it shinier? I don't know. I left the pumps out, but this also comes with pumps if you want to use pumps, but I think it's way easier to just pour it out. Oh, and it says my name on it. I forgot, it says um, function of Trini on there. I don't, you can't see it, but it does, it says it. But make sure you guys go check out Function of Beauty. You can use my link in the description. To get 20% off your first order, click the link in the description box, take the two minute quiz and get customized shampoo and conditioner just for your needs. And yeah, that is it. Thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. This movie scarred me for life. So many scenes it made me embarrassed to watch. Like I you I got secondhand embarrassment watching this movie and I feel like that was the goal. I remember it so clearly. Um it has what's his fucking name? I don't know, it's that Brit it's that guy. Aaron Aaron Taylor. Aaron, I know his name is Aaron. It's like Aaron Johnson Taylor or something. Aaron Taylor Johnson Taylor A. I don't know. We all had a crush on him when we watched it. And I I feel like I watched this movie like a couple years ago just to watch him. Cause I feel like this was his movie where I was like, I feel like this guy is, I remember seeing a picture of him on Twitter um, recently and he's married or like together with like a really old lady. And it like really creeped me out. Like, it was like a really big age gap. And I think they got together when he was like 17 or 18. I don't really know the details, but I remember like glancing on Twitter and I was like, what the fuck? It's like really weird. like. Oh, it's by Paramount? I heard Paramount was very, very strict with copyright stuff. 
Oh well, <laughs> I guess we'll just have to deal with it. I still don't know how this was considered a Nickelodeon movie. Georgia, I said I'm dropping you off. Now just take off that shell and get in the car. How do you think of like an olive for your costume? Like I'm all for it, but like where were vegetables on the table for costumes? It was supposed to be a laugh. But boys don't like girls for funniness. This is why you have to confirm your plans before you go to the party. And if you're going as a group costume, you should probably make an entrance together. Cause it's weird when you have little hors d'oeuvres floating around the party. They have to be together. I don't wanna be a corn on the cob. And why is the Halloween party in the middle of the day? <laughs> I feel like that's the biggest question we have is why is the Halloween party so early in the day? Georgia, mommy wants you. Libby! Oh, flip, flipper and flipping hell. Flip, flipper and flipping hell. Why don't more people say that? I like how she cut off her eyebrow, so she cut bangs too. Christmas tree. DJ. Didn't you hate them last night? The day before, she was like, my friends didn't dress up as hors d'oeuvres for the Halloween party. <laughs> I don't think we should be doing this. It's kind of lesbian-y. How is it doing it to yourself? Oh, I guess maybe doing it with other girls. I was like, how is it doing it to yourself, lesbian-y? <laughs> lesbian rights. Snogging scale. The 10 stages of snogging. 10, 10. I thought it was like a one, two, maybe three, four. 10. This movie scarred me from kissing. It's the reason why I have never kissed anyone. That's the only reason <laughs> that I have not kissed anyone. Whoa. They are sex. God. Maybe not sex gods, but could be, they were prime e-boy material. I don't mean a bit alooly. Sorry, I'm gonna offend so many British people today because I can't help it. What is up with the poofs? Come on, ladies. We got to bump it in today. So, the sex gods are twins. Say magnifique. They're twins? They don't look like twins at all. They're not even the same height. I guess twins can be different heights. Oh, we saw them first. That's not fair. Ellen, you have to be emotionally sorted to be ready for a boyfriend. Whoa, it's a little bit of a discrimination. The one, the one woman of color. You don't get the boys, ladies. Never do this with your friends. Don't. Unless you're gonna put tens on all of it, don't fucking do it. Sweet. I got mostly eight for everything. So did I. No tens, no tens. Is he like Thanks, 40 years old? What is he wearing? Is he wearing like a wife beater and a fucking plaid shirt? About pound, yeah. His voice is very high. Okay. Yeah, I thought I recognized him. I thought I recognized him. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, some mates from London. Oh, what are you called? Stiff Dillons. Great name. Stiff Dillons. I don't even have to try and make a sexual innuendo about that. That just writes itself. Jubbly. Is that my little jubbly? My little jubbly. Hey, little jubbly. Little jubbly. Jub, 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 jub. Yeah, love him. Don't my lovely jubbly. I don't feel like that is sanitary to have a cat walking around an organic food market, but... God, Robbie's just so muscly and dreamy. Muscly! Uh, stop it, you don't have to come. Oh, His shift ended quick, bro. On their way back, he like, had a whole trip and passed them too. He's a fast walker. What do they rate them? Skinny, mini, blondie, booby, girly girls. Skinny, like mini, blondie, booby girls. Honestly, if you ever hear a boy say, oh, I like girls with blonde hair, blue eyes, pale skin, chances are they're way too much like Hitler for you and you gotta run. You better run. Hi. <laughs> the legend. He was the Timothy Chalamet of this year. <laughs> Any uh, musical requests? The right tune creates the right vibe. Can you turn on the chain smokers? This movie was funny. I'm sorry. It was funny. I don't. It makes me feel upset. This scene. It make. I don't like it. I don't like the noises. I don't like. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Sadly. <laughs> 
my next client. It's still there. <laughs> I'm. I will. It, I. I don't have any words. I don't know how a, a, a short scene could make me feel so violated. <laughs> you did tongues, didn't you? Dang, they really left that. They hate that other girl. It's very odd that the one minority in the group keeps getting left behind. Where in the world do you find the most geomagnetic thermal activity? I don't know, Dad. New Zealand. I love a good New Zealand accent. I can't really do it, but I really try. I feel like I'm doing Australian one. I always get Australian and New Zealand mixed up, so. And now I'm just talking my normal voice. But if I could do a New Zealand accent, I would. Oh, he has got a fit bum. That is that thing is like this. What 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 bum are we talking about? England, step up your game with your national butt. Cause that booty ain't got nothing on America's ass, I'll tell you that. S S S S S S Angus. So what did this I literally thought he <laughs> I thought he said Angus, come here you fucking cat. <laughs> I was like, damn, Nickelodeon, damn. So is that your man behind the tail? Yeah. She's really pretty. <laughs> Mine's mental. <laughs> Dang, all she does is roast her parents. <laughs> Jeez, lay off. What's wrong? What's wrong? You know how like Harden in After makes his voice deeper? I feel like he's making his higher. We were really hitting it off. Uh, Jack. I literally thought he was gonna like pick a wedgie or something. I was like, why is he leaning like that? Oh my love, you've got conjunctive isis. Relax, but it's only Vaseline. What? what? Make sure eyelashes longer. See, this was the relatability of this movie because I feel like every single girl has tried to put Vaseline on their eyelashes to make them grow. My middle school years were like a weird year. They were they were years where I thought I could DIY every single makeup product possible. Guess what you cannot. Crap. So no bra tonight. God, mine's staying up for the first time. Oh, you're lucky. You're so I, I'm not gonna try because I'm not gonna be able to do it and it's gonna make me upset, okay? Uh, it's not gonna stay up and I'm going to feel very insecure about it, so I'm not even gonna try. I know he looks like George Clooney, who's ancient but still a fitty. But he never fancy her in a million years. Jeez, her parents got the short end of the stick on this one. You gave this girl life and all she does is insult you, insult you, insult you. And insult herself, which is another insult to you because you created her. Jeez, these parents, I'm surprised they have not given you away because you suck as their daughter. If you insult your parents and then insult yourself, you are a little shit. Oh my God, Georgia from Angus Song's A Perfect Song. <gasps> she was together with, he. she was together with Ron from Harry Potter. What the fuck? That's so funny. A thong. <sighs> Did Nickelodeon, holy what? shit. Why are you being so stroppy? You'll always be my best mate. Even if you are wearing granny panties, you can still be my best mate. <laughs> Now you're thinking like a best friend. <laughs> beep beep be my BFF, cause I DK what's coming next, and I be LMHO with the rest of so TTY. <laughs> Why did I just sing that? That has nothing to do with what's happening. He's not a crazy old snatcher, and you're not woman enough for him. So back off! Whoa, I could feel the spit from there, bro. She said, back off! I really think I owe Georgia an apology. I'm really sorry I tripped you. You were playing absolutely brilliantly. Absolutely brilliantly. Dang, how small is the mirror? How small is the mirror? Because we're the only two left without boyfriends. Two out of four. We got a 50-50 percentage happening right now. That's not that big of a difference. I enjoy a party scene. In a high school movie, I'm down for the high school parties. I wish she was eating a stuffed olive. Is he wearing a do-rag? Why is white British guy wearing a do-rag? Why? I've been really busy studying. Listen, don't let this twig push you over. I have to kiss you. 
What if they fell in the fire and caught on fire? Whoa, he's a little rapist. Jeez. Girl, no no spandex underneath. Look at the slag knickers, like something my gram would wear. I like how they all stared at it for as long as they could. You could have just moved on. Please, Jazz. I have to talk to Robbie or I'll just die. I mean, it's a pretty clear explanation. Boy tried to sexually assault me. Can't get any more simple than that. Oh my god, she kind of looks like Miranda Sings. Is that meme? She just, she really looks like Miranda Sings right there. Like, really, truly, honestly. Totally. It wasn't at all what it looked like. It wasn't at all what it looked like. I was, I was getting sexually assaulted and you guys laughed and made fun of me and walked away. Whoa. In a public pool? In the community pool. In the commun- Oh my god, no. That's a violation of some sort. I know it is. In the community pool? I don't think you're allowed to do that shit. Oh my god. God, it was magic. I thought she was holding a Wii controller to her head. I was like, why does she have a Wii controller next to her head? Because... Because I'm a lesbian. Lesbian rights. Nickelodeon coming through with a lesbian representation. She's a Sierra Burgess. Instead of faking that she has a disability, she fakes that she's a lesbian. Well, if Robbie said you weren't, then I guess he must be right. <laughs> Robbie knows the inside deets about my sexual orientation. I know what you're feeling like, honey. I don't feel like you want to piss this girl off. I feel like she might kill her own parents. That would have been a wild Nickelodeon what movie exactly if she killed her own parents. I, she, I, seriously, she looks like Miranda Sings. I can't, I really cannot unsee it. She looks like Miranda Sings. This is a very special book that will open your mind to the curious way of the male species. I think that might be my favorite movie cliche is when a book teaches them a life lesson. That's got to be number one for me. They come to their downfall of the movie and they find a book and then they have their overall climax and it's really, really fun. They got merch. Oh my god. And oh my god. If you have a band in a movie, you have to have a vest. Call back to the LOL movie where no shampoo, Chad had a vest. I remember that so clearly. Chad has a vest, so I want a vest. Why do you call them Nunga Nungas? Well, because when you get hold of one and then let it go, it goes Nunga Nunga Nunga. Definitely sounds like a racial slur to me, but, oh, you know, I won't, we won't talk about it. Good evening, Brighton. We are the stick dealers. What if all their names were Dylan? They're like the Heathers, but the Dylans, and they're all stiff. <laughs> You're just what I need. You're just what I need. What is that from? Everything I make it You're just what I need. You're just what I need. What is that from? Oh, it's literally from Bring It On. I was literally, what is that song from? I thought this was the song from Shrek. Was this song in Shrek? It sounds like it was in like Shrek 2. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. I was just gonna go say hi to Dave the Laugh. Imagine your name, your high school name being Dave the Laugh. Like you're that funny. People call you Dave the Laugh because you're just a good old laugh. <laughs> Drop a F for Dave real quick. Pay respect to the friend zone, bro. You're such a good friend. You're a heartless user. What you did, it's just pants, that is. I'm sorry, I- And I really thought you thought I was a laugh. But I guess I'm not. I guess I'm just Dave the- Dave the whore, <gasps> not Dave the laugh. So you were thinking of breaking up with Lindsay and then you were gonna call me? And then I saw you with Dave at my gig. I was gutted. 
was gutted. I was gutted. My heart broke. My heart literally bursted into pieces when I saw you with Dave the laugh. Why did you tell Jazz that my brother wasn't good enough for her? We were fighting. Well, does that mean I'm not good enough for you either? No. You're insulting my twin, saying he's not good enough for her. Well, guess what? I'm his fucking twin. We look the fucking same, mate. You're right. It wasn't me. It was beyond pants. It was beyond pants. What does that even mean? I messed everything up with you and with Dave and your brother. And I guess I was just jealous that Jazz had a boyfriend. Broke up with Lindsay last night. Well, can you stop fucking interrupting me? Let me finish. Anyways. So as I was saying, it was quite beyond pants. I don't even know what that means, beyond pants. What does pants mean? I guess I really just don't want my folks to split up. Hey, no one does. Yeah, I don't want my parents to split up like yours. <laughs> I don't want my parents to become Splitsville like yours. Because that really fucking sucks. <laughs> Having divorced parents couldn't be me, could not be me. I was experimenting before I dyed the whole thing. Don't dye it blood. It's much nicer natural. I want a natural girl, no makeup. I don't want, uh, you're not like other girls, I'll tell you that. And with heart shaped bruises. Oh my god, I feel like that is so cute when you go like, when you're holding someone's hand and they go like this. But honestly, I don't think I would want my hand to be like this for that long. It does not seem comfortable, but it, the motion of it is very cute. The motion of it is very cute. That's where Lindsay's having her party. Tramps, that is so last year. We're going to a brand new club. <laughs> when you go clubbing with your mom on your 15th birthday? <laughs> She's like, I only know like four of these people. Who are these people? Who are these people? I have no idea who any of you are. I know my three other friends. That's about it. No idea who these people are. Why are you here? Why are you at my birthday? Happy birthday, Georgia. Jem's boyfriend owns this club. Nickelodeon said gay rights, honestly. The first LGBT representation on Nickelodeon. Make some noise for the stiff! Yeah! yeah. Can you again? Your mum did. What? I know a fitty when I see one. The British slang in here I just don't get. What's a fitty? A fit one? A fit guy? Yo, Robbie ain't even the lead singer. Get the fuck out of here. I know that fool sings. He was in the Beatles fucking a biopic. I will always oh my god, I will always. Georgia Nicholson is a lad nabbing lech who comes. Lad napping went. I literally, there's so much British slang in here that I just don't get what they're saying. Fat. Minging minger. Minging minger. What does that mean? Schnozzle. Schnozzle. Who, who, who invited the grandpa? Who invited the grandpa? George is perfect too. She's just a perfect nut. 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 What? Perfect nut. What the fuck? Who? Why are there grandparents there? You're perfect for me. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I like how the guy controlling the screens was like, yes. There are five things very right with my life. They eat toast so much in this movie. One, I've seen them eat like 10 my pieces mom and of dad toast. Are totally loved up. So I don't mind them snogging in front of us anymore. She's like, I don't even mind if they fall and just have sex in front of me. I really don't even care anymore as long as they don't get a divorce. Like, it's all fine. What is happening? What are they doing? Why are they doing that? I don't like it. There is very, there's a lot of old people in this movie. Like the extras are all over like 40 years old. <laughs> Still like that movie. I think it's very much of a staple piece in cinematic history. And that was today's video. I know, did anyone really want to see this reaction? I don't know, but here I am ignoring requests so I can watch whatever movies I want to. I mean, you can leave requests in the comment section down below. Will I do them is the question of the day. Probably not. So anyways, that was it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Um, this movie was like, it is just ingrained in my memory forever because I don't know. I just remember watching like, 
I re- clearly remember watching it when I was like, when did this come out? 2009. It came out in 2009, so I was seven years old. So like I was seven or eight years old when I first saw it, and I like I remember being like, wow, this is like a very very mature movie because they were talking about thongs and they were talking about boobs and i was like wow but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts on this movie in the comment section down below you can follow me on instagram and twitter at t level and subscribe so you can see more videos from me and turn on the notifications bell as well if you want to be notified every single time i post a video that wraps it all up i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs>